folks, welcome back. It is uh, Judgment Day here. So we're going to do uh, another little comparison type video. And we're going to be looking at Mini GT and Mini Champs. So going to be kind of interesting. Uh, the model in question, of course, is going to be this Porsche 911 GT3, the one that is in shark blue. This is an older release from Mini GT all the way back in the 300s, which is crazy to say. I feel like the 300s were just coming around. But both of these are officially licensed by Porsche. The Mini Champs doesn't actually have like the licensing thing on it, but I believe that this information right here is basically the licensing. So there we have that. Um, we did a we did a comparison video between some between Mini GT and Mini Champs a little while back, but one of the things about that was the Mini Champs model was actually a collab model with tarmac works i think i have it sitting right here yes it was so we did this one and so it's mini champs and tarmac works so this shark blue porsche is just mini champs with no collaboration so it'll be interesting to look at there's all the information on the bottom and then uh of course you do have this uh little acrylic box display it looks pretty nice i like the mini champs packaging and then, of course, this one does come on a base, so we will get that unscrewed if I can get the acrylic off. Oh, my gosh. That's on there tight. There we go. Okay, so there we are. There's the car. Go ahead and get it unscrewed. These ones do have two little screws on the bottom, which is kind of a pain. I wish it was just one, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Life will go on. I don't think I've ever taken this one off the base before, but um, yeah, not a super fragile model, so I'm not worried about it. So there it is. We'll set all of this off to the side, and here's the Mini DT. Again, it is number 381. There's all the info on the back. It is officially licensed by Porsche, so we'll get this one out and ready to go. All right, there are the two cars, Mini DT on the left, Mini Champs on the right. So, we'll do a roll test first. You guys all know that Mini DT does always roll, and they always roll pretty well. So there's that, free moving, nice and smooth, no hiccups or bumps, pretty good. And the Mini Champs, the Mini Champs does roll as well. Not quite as good, it does stop a lot faster than the Mini DT would, but for all your roller heads out there, they do both roll, which is, uh, I guess a good thing. I don't really care personally, but yep, they both roll. So we'll go ahead, we'll take a close look at the Mini Champs, and then we'll switch over to the Mini GT, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and the main things that I can tell between them. So the wheels on this one, they do have that blue accent going around the outer lip of the wheel. The tires on this one do look a little bit blocky. They don't have any tread or anything. They are just like flat tires. Um, not flat tires, but they're smooth treaded tires. Um, they're, they're a little bit thick. They do look a little bit blocky on the edges, but the actual wheels themselves do look nice. They're done in like a kind of like a matte black color. Um, you can see the lug details in the center. And these ones also do have brake details um, behind the wheel. The one thing that's weird about this particular one, this uh, shark blue Porsche 911, is that there's no calipers on the brake discs. I thought at first that I had gotten a model that was maybe faulty or had, um, or was just missing them on accident, but I was looking at pictures of this exact car, the blue one, from a few different sources, and it indeed does not include calipers on any of them, which is weird, and uh, I was really confused about that, so I don't know why. Uh, the brake rotors back there are slotted. This one appears to be spinning with the wheel, which is not really a good thing. Um, the rest of them, maybe they all do spin with the wheel. I guess, uh, huh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's just, the brakes are weird on this one. No, the, the rotor is supposed to spin with the wheel, isn't it? I don't know why I'm having a dumb moment. But, uh, yeah. Brake details are good, but no calipers, which is odd. So I don't know about that. And yes, the I don't know what I'm talking about. The brake rotors do spin with the wheel, so that is that is accurate. 
But uh, yeah, no calipers, kind of odd. Um, on the roof, you do have like some carbon fiber printing. It's like a really fine carbon fiber. The lines are very skinny, but it doesn't look bad. And from a distance, you can kind of look at it and say like, oh yeah, that kind of looks carbon. Um, it's, I don't, I, I, I don't really like it though, because it almost, when you're looking at it from a distance, it almost makes the roof just look gray, but I digress. It is carbon and it is there. The interior on this one is just going to be pretty much just a black plastic, no color or anything. The headlights look pretty good. They are acrylic and they have a little bit of black accenting going around. And then you can see that like single bulb detail in there. Porsche badge right there looks pretty good. You got the two little nostrils right here, which are the little vents. Um, the front looks good. The venting is uh, the venting is fine. I don't see any issues with it. it. Looks pretty accurate to the real car. And uh, you do have a little bit of black GT3 badging down here in the corner of the door. The uh, the wing mirrors are actually going to be like a two tone, so the bottom is going to be black, and then the top is blue, which is pretty good. And then they also do have reflective stickers in them, which is a nice little detail. Um, on these mini champs, the wing supports back here are metal and these ones are painted black. So it makes the wing be a little bit more sturdier than just using like a plastic support piece, but the wing looks pretty good. You do have a little bit of glue residue right there, but uh, other than that, it looks pretty clean. Oh wow. There's a lot of glue residue on the bottom right there too. And then there's a little something going on right there, but I guess that's okay. Cause it is the bottom of the wing. But on the back side right here, you do have the Porsche lettering. You've got the GT3 badge. The taillights look pretty good. They are, of course, going to be acrylic. And then you have this little red piece running all the way down. Uh, two black exhaust tips in the middle, along with the rear diffuser down here, which looks pretty good. And uh, overall, the shape and everything looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, I will say the bottom of the Mini Champs is going to be plastic, not metal, which, uh, in my opinion, is... Uh, a little unfortunate, but also not that big of a deal. It does say down here that is it a Porsche 911 GT3 in 164 scale, and you can see the Mini Champs logo. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the major details for this one. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the Mini GT as well. This one is going to be a lot heavier because the base is metal, which is nice. The wheels look good on this one. They do have that same blue stripe going around. Um, I think my model just has a little bit of a quality control issue because the blue lip does kind of is a little bit faded on a couple of the wheels in certain spots, like on this front one, or maybe it's just the lighting. No, there's some like, there's some like chips in the paint and whatnot, like right there. And then on this back one, same thing. It's not super clean, but from a distance, it looks pretty good. And this side, the wheels on this side actually look decent. Uh, mini DT. So there will be no brake details which uh, is unfortunate, but it is what it is. You do have the GT3 badging in the center of the wheels though, which is nice. Um, the wheels do look to be accurate. They're more of like a, uh, I guess they are, I guess they are also like a matte black finish. Uh, the wheels on this one, they do have tread, but uh, you can see the tread is a little bit blocky, like on the very edge. It almost makes it look like an off-road tire. So kind of two extremes between the Mini Champs and Mini GT. This one kind of has like a blocky off-road tire and then those ones are really blocky and because they don't have tread. So there's that. The headlights on this one do look pretty good. They don't have the black outlining that the Mini Champs has, but they do look pretty good and you can see a little bit of detail behind the lens. Uh, the Porsche badge looks good on this one as well. And then on the nostrils right here, you actually do have some venting detail. Uh, front end right here looks pretty good. Nothing really notable. Uh, the roof on this one, again, carbon fiber. The carbon fiber printing on this one looks much nicer because um, I, I just think that Mini DT's carbon fiber is nicer. It's a little bit more um, spread apart. Makes it look pretty good. Um, wing supports on this one are going to be plastic, but the wing does look pretty good on the top. And on the bottom, there you go, looks good. The back end looks good as well. You got your Porsche lettering right here with the GT3 badge. Um, acrylic taillights, I think. I don't, why does that almost look like black plastic? Hang on, I'm going to have to look at this off camera. I've never noticed that before on this one. Yeah, it looks like black plastic. It's not like clear acrylic. That's odd. I've never noticed that. And I've even reviewed this model way back in the day too. So yeah, this, these pieces on the side 
are black plastic, and then it does have the red bar going all the way across, which looks to be painted. So that's kind of interesting. That doesn't seem super accurate. I don't think this thing has black taillights. I mean, maybe blacked out or tinted, but not black plastic. But uh, anyways, you do have the two exhaust tips in the center and then the rear diffuser. And so, yeah, that's the Mini GT. So what are my thoughts and what are some key differences? Obviously, the tires are going to be a big difference. The ones on the Mini Champ are really big and blocky. The ones on the Mini GT are a little bit slimmer, but they do have kind of like that off-road appearance with the uh, tire tread at the top. It looks real blocky. The tread itself looks blocky. So uh, I don't really know. I, don't, I can't really say that one's better than the other. I would probably prefer the way the Mini GT's wheels look. I just think the tires are a little bit too thick on the Mini Champs. Um, the brake details are nice. Obviously, that's something that Mini GT doesn't have. So... Um, Mini Champs is going to win in that aspect, even though there's no calipers, it is still a nice detail. Um, they both have carbon fiber on the roof, side by side, the Mini Champs on the right. You can see that uh, the Mini GTs does look a little bit better. Uh, it just, uh, I don't know, you can look at it from a distance and see that it's carbon fiber. This one kind of just looks gray. So I would give the carbon fiber detailing to Mini GT. The color of both of them looks pretty spot on. I don't, I think they're about as close as they could be being shark blue. So uh, nothing there. Porsche logos and stuff look pretty good. I will give a little bit of a nod to Mini GT for doing the venting details right here in these nostrils. Mini Champs just painted it black. So uh, there's that. The front details on the little front grille are pretty much the same. I don't see any differences there. Um, the interiors are both just going to be black plastic, so nothing really to say there. Um, the uh, size comparison between the two, they look both they both look spot on as far as scale goes with each other. So I would confidently say that these are both true 164 scale. Uh, for the wing mirrors, the Mini GTs are just going to be blue rubber, not super detailed. So the Mini GT does, or the Mini Champs does win in that regard with like the dual tone and the reflective stickers. So better mirrors on the Mini Champs. Um, the back end, I would say that the uh, the Mini Champs looks a lot better with the actual acrylic lenses for the taillights. I don't know why the Mini GTs are just black, but uh, Mini Champs did do a little bit better job there. Also, I will give. The, uh, I will say that the Mini Champs also has a better wing just because those metal supports make it a lot more sturdy, make it more level. You can see that the Mini GTs is uh, kind of crooked and that just uh, has to do with the plastic, you know. So Mini Champs does have a slightly better wing. And uh, other than that, I think they're pretty much a tie. There's not really anything else noteworthy about them. Uh, if I had to recommend one of them to pick up... I would probably not know what to tell you. <laughs> you this is one of those that you kind of just have to look at them both and decide which one you want. Um, I would probably slightly recommend the Mini GT a little bit over the Mini Champs just because I think the Mini GT is a little bit cheaper. It might be the same price as the Mini Champs around that like $25 mark just because this is an older Mini GT and the price maybe has gone up. Uh, but even if they were both the same price, I would still probably recommend the Mini GT. I just think it looks a little bit sleeker. It looks a little bit more accurate. But uh, yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with either of these. Like I said, the Mini Champs does have the brake detailing. It has the metal support for the wing. The wing mirrors are also more detailed. Um, the one the one major thing I just don't really care about on the Mini Champs is the fact that um, it doesn't have brake calipers, even though it has rotors. And also the carbon fiber doesn't look as good. But uh, yeah, um, like I said, you can't go wrong with either of these. I think the Mini Champs you can find for about $20 to $25. I'm not sure what the pricing is for the Mini GT version. Um, probably around the same price. But yeah, that's really all I have for you guys. They're both really nice. And uh, they both do have some differences. But I think I would probably go with the Mini GT. Even though the Mini Champs is good, I feel like the Mini GT just looks a little bit better, looks a little bit cleaner, um, a little maybe a little bit more accurate. Again, I don't know what's up with those taillights, but overall, the Mini GT I think I would recommend a little bit more, just because um, 
I, I don't know. I can't get over the tires on the Mini Champs. The tires are just wonky. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you guys if you're looking to purchase one of these cars. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is the Mini Champs better? Did Mini GT do a better job? Let me know. I'm curious to hear from you guys. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.